Hi, this is Elizabeth. Today I want to talk about two different kinds of data that I use. Sometimes when I, I'm in my classroom and I feel like there's a particular problem that I can do better, it's really, really beneficial to kind of know where you're at before you even start addressing this and to be honest with yourself about it. So you need to make uh, you need to take some data to get that baseline and that way you'll know when you're getting better or you'll know if, if you're not. It's very important to be objective in this because we don't remember things correctly. We're human, we remember things according to our mood and our tolerance level, but when you actually have the data you can't, you can't um, lie to yourself about what's actually going on. So Two ways that I take data is partial interval or whole interval. And basically, what I'll do is I'll, I'll pick whatever behavior I'm targeting. And maybe it's a behavior I want to see more of or a behavior that I want to see less of. Whatever it is, I'm going to define that behavior. If it's hitting, that might be something that would be a good thing to measure with a partial interval. Partial interval means that I saw the behavior once or more, at least part of the time during whatever interval I'm measuring. So I can break down an hour into five minute sections and then, you know, mark when I saw whatever be behavior it is I'm looking for, um, if, that, if it happened at all. I would never want to measure hitting with whole interval because I would never expect somebody to be hitting for an entire five minutes. And that's what whole interval recording does, is that it means that you have to see the behavior the entire time. So a good thing to measure with whole interval recording, with data taking, would be on-task behavior. And basically, because you want to see that, that, that there's an attention span there and that it's happening the whole time. So, for example, I have some students that I feel like should be able to be on task for five minutes. Uh, I feel like that's realistic. And so sometimes it feels like they're never on task. Sometimes they're really on and they work for 30 minutes at a time. But I don't really know until I've actually taken the data and, and said, you know, what's, what is going on? What is a good day versus a not so good day? You know, when I hear from the teacher, oh, he was on today or he was off today, what does that really mean and during what times of the day? So what I would do is, take up, you know, the period of time and and I want to see the on-task behavior for the entire interval. Um, I've had kids with attention spans that are so short that I would only want to observe a short session because I'm going to be making data every 15 seconds because I don't see this kid on task for more than 15 seconds at a time. So that's the difference between partial interval and whole interval recording. It can really make a difference to know where you're at, to, to do this and just, you know, be honest about it. If, if he's off, just, you know, nope, nope, nope. Oh, he's been on for a whole five minutes. That's five minutes. And at the end of the day, you can say, well, he was on task for 10% of today. Now I know where I'm at and I need to do something about it and make some changes because if that's really where I'm at, I, we need to find a way for this to, to do better. That's the point of taking data, is to know what's going on so you know when you're getting better.